All right, state your name for me, sir. Douglas Brooks. All right, Mr. Brooks, I'm Judge White. You agree to talk with me over the video? Yes, sir. All right, I'll make you aware that Demeka Schlegel uh, with the Anderson County Sheriff's Office, uh, the news media, and Laura Brooks and James Battaglio are all present for your hearing. If I ask them and I'll ask you not to address each other, I'll give you a chance if you wish to make a statement to the court. Now, you've got a charge for criminal sexual conduct second degree. It does carry up to 20 years in jail if you plead guilty or if you're found guilty. It has an initial court date at the Anderson County Courthouse for March 6th at 9 a.m. You are required to appear. If you miss your court date, they can issue a general sessions warrant. If you're picked up on that, you can be held into your trial. Now, you have the right to have an attorney present to represent you. If you can't afford one, you can request the public defender's office represent you. You also have the right to enter a plea if not guilty on your court date and request a jury trial. And finally, within the next 10 days, you have the right to request a preliminary hearing. It's a hearing before a judge who would hear the state's evidence to determine if it was sufficient to issue the warrant to begin with. To request that hearing, it has to be done in writing by you within the next 10 days. Do you understand about the preliminary hearing? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. All right, Ms. Slave, all any statements? Your Honor, the victim provided a statement that she would like to be considered for the court. Okay. Um, the victims provided the uh, following statement that uh, she wishes to be read to the record. Uh, it goes as, for, as follows. Since contact has ceased with Douglas Brooks, the utmost care has been placed into my personal and professional well-being. The decision to press charges was not made lightly, and it was made in order to continue my healing process, as well as to encourage other victims, if any, to gather the strength to stand against this heinous, heinous crime. Douglas Brooks is a danger to the community because of his access to children. I request that no contact from him or anyone on his behalf be made to me or anyone on my behalf. I also request that a distance of 3,000 feet be kept should we happen to be in the same place. Finally, I ask that your honor would consider a high bond as well as a surety bond during today's hearing. Thank you for taking the time to hear this case. End of, end of the uh, uh, statement. All right, um, Ms. Brooks, Mr. Pataglio, any statement you want to make? Sir, my daughter is a student at this school. I've known Mr. Brooks for the last two and a half years, and I will put her in his hands today. I do not see any reason why he should not be released. Okay. Anything else? So I serve a dual role. I'm his spouse, but also his co worker. Uh, we are co directors. Um, I have worked hand in hand with him for the past eight years. I've been his wife for the past 15 years. I have never known him to be a danger to his community. Again, we have worked hand in hand with the same children. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, Mr. Brooks, this hearing is being recorded. It can be used later against you in court, but do you have any statements at this time? Yes, sir, I would like, not like to make a statement at this time. All right. Okay, there will be conditions to your bond. You are to have no contact with the victim or the victim's family um, prior to this case being disposed of. If you violate that bond condition in any way, uh, this bond can be revoked as well as you can face additional charges. Do you understand that bond condition? I do understand. Okay. All right. Um, based on the nature of the charge, I'm going to set this as a $25,000 surety bond that you will have to post prior to being released. Uh, you can post that in one of three ways. You can have a bail bonds and post it for you, or you can have someone post a cash bond or you can have someone post a lien against real property in Anderson County. Any questions on how to post your bond? No, sir. All right. Any other questions on anything that I've gone over? No, sir. I don't 